Okay, so I have an Albion contact, Miles. He managed to get his hands on some documents for me and is willing to trade for a favor. I already set up a meeting for you two. Slow down. Favor? I didn't even say yes. You just did. Come on, Piers, I need you on this one. This story could reveal the truth behind the London bombings. Miles just needs help working a case. Fine. You must be Claire Waters' associate. I'm Miles. Or Sergeant Fletcher, if you like. Don't let the uniform fool you. I'm really an okay guy. And you are? Waiting for you to tell me what you want. Right. I need help tracking down a woman. Cora Taylor. I can't prove it yet, but she's connected to the London bombings. Keep talking. She caught me tailing her and gave me the slip. But I know where she likes to hang out. Fine. Say I find her, then what? Then you download her schedule so I can continue my investigation. Simple. Got it. I'll contact you once I've found her. She must be around here somewhere. Albion's authority. She must be around here somewhere. Found her. Well done. Now download her schedule so I don't lose track of her again. Shit, can't let her get too far or I'll lose the signal. Done. Miles, are you sure you have the right person? Based on this, I'd say she lives a pretty ordinary life. Evil is banal, my American friend. I'll contact you once I finish my shift. We can meet to swap information. Something is not right about him. Think I'll do my own investigation. Bagley, pull up Miles Fletcher's address. I found a match. Setting destination. Hey, Claire. What else do you know about Miles? Something about his story seems off. He's worked for Albion for a few years, stationed over on Downing Street. I can't tell you what size shoe he wears, but he's always had good intel. That's it. You're putting a lot of trust in a guy you hardly know. 
For what? A story? You don't get it. The bombings were an attack on my city, my home. And I won't rest until I know who was really behind them, because we both know it wasn't dead sec. I hope you know what you're getting into. hasn't finished his shift yet, his place should be empty. Let's have a look around. you doing? Seeing who Miles really is. And here I was thinking I was the nosy one. Miles has a file on you, and he sent it to his superiors. This is what I'm talking about, Claire. So Albion considers me a threat? I'm not sure if I should be flattered or concerned. Probably the latter. seeing this? Miles isn't working a case. He's stalking this woman. You've got to be shitting me. Ugh! See what else you can find. I want to make his life miserable. Hey, Cora. I just wanted to let you know I had a great time last night. Maybe we can go to that Italian place that just opened on your street. Cora? Are you ignoring me? Please don't do that. I can see when you listen to my messages. Are you ignoring me? Are you? How's your show? It looks like you're enjoying it. Mr. Pierce. Is that you snooping around my apartment? Can't say I'm impressed. Didn't you think to check for security? How do you know who I am? Oh, you've left quite a mess around town the last few days. Oh, and hello, Ms. Waters. Miles, you sleazy bastard. If you think you're getting away with this, you're dead wrong. I'm gonna let everyone know who you really are. I don't think you'll get the chance. In fact, Ms. Waters, I'll be seeing you very soon. Claire, he's coming for you. This isn't a joke. I need you to get somewhere safe while I deal with Miles. Okay, I will. But what do you mean, deal with him? What are you gonna do? Take on a whole Albion patrol by yourself? It shouldn't be a problem. I'll contact you when it's safe.
You can't hide forever, Miles. I will find you. <laughs> no, you won't. You're too old, all washed up, and you don't even know it. It's almost sad, really. I see you, Miles. Very funny, Mr. Pierce. Hello? Hello? documents Claire was after.
Reports of unauthorized drone access near you. Be on alert. Be advised, we are on the trail. Suspect over. Claire. Search units disengage. Claire. I'm here, Pierce. Are you okay? Fine. Miles won't be bothering anyone anymore. I'll send you the documents now. Hope it was worth it. Pierce, I thought about what you said. You're right. I do need to be more careful, especially if I want to live to see this story through. You have a bad habit of getting in too deep with no way out. You do good work, Claire. Thanks, Pierce. That means a lot. It's been a genuine pleasure working with you. Likewise. Keep your head down, and good luck with the story. This is where we are now. All over the city, Albion's taken stop and search to a whole new level. They stop us without cause and take what they please, whether it's our wallets or our lives. But Albion's abuse of power goes far beyond corrupt troops. How far, you ask? Well, I'll show you on my next episode when I discuss the London bombings and break down what really happened that day. Hey, Aiden. I have a question. Go ahead. That weekend you took us all out to the country. When I was a kid. And on the way we got run off the road. I don't want to talk about this. About what? About the crash or about my sister? Look. Did you know those guys were after you? And that's why you took us? I'm not angry. I just want to know. You never said. Yeah. It was a mistake. I ran when I should have fought. I didn't commit to what I had to do. The man I had to be. I never made that mistake again. What about the mistake that got us there in the first place? Robbing whoever it was you robbed? I don't know, Jackson. Same answer. You ever wish you'd committed to being that other guy? All the time. <laughs> 